The country and world losing two celebrities this week to suicide, Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain. And as the morning begins, health experts say it's important we have tough but important conversations about mental health. News 8's Eric Feldman joins us now to explain. And Eric, this is a very tough question, or not question, tough topic rather, to touch. Yeah, you know, the experts that we talked to said it's just that. It's mm. not easy to talk about, but we wanted to find out the ways that you can do just that. And one of the things we learned about from one mental health expert in Indianapolis, she says, don't call it suicide. Call it death by suicide, because we're really talking about battles with depression and anxiety. And with death by suicide numbers skyrocketing, we need to start getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. In a week where a fashion icon and celebrity chef both died by suicide, people around the world are in mourning at the same time. There are probably hundreds of suicides, deaths by suicides that have happened privately this week that we don't know about. Lawrence police believes that's what happened Tuesday when a person was hit by a train. IMPD believes last Wednesday it happened in a Lowe's parking lot. Well, what we see on the outside is not always how people are feeling. The issue of mental health and death by suicide is only getting worse. The CDC reports near Nearly 45,000 Americans took their own life in 2016. The number in Indiana up more than 30% since 1999. And experts say these are people who don't want to die. They're just tired of the pain. If you think about it, if you've ever broken something or had a terrible migraine or gone through labor, you want those pains to stop, but you know they're going to stop. Whereas depression and emotional pain, it doesn't always have that guarantee. And oftentimes in the wake of the shock, we hear this. I didn't see any signs. So what can you do? Look for some of the signs experts say that show someone is struggling. I'd be very bold with them. It's okay to ask someone, do you feel like killing yourself? Are you having thoughts of death? Do you have a plan to die? Um, I know those feel like harsh questions or heavy questions, uh, but that's the real question that needs to be asked and answered. It may be tough. It may feel awkward, but experts say it's vital. What if I'm wrong or what if they get mad at me? I don't care. They can be mad at you. They're still alive. Now, if that person you're talking to is struggling, the next step is seeing if there's a therapist or a psychiatrist in the picture. If someone is suicidal at that moment, you can also take that person to the emergency room. If you yourself are contemplating suicide, there are steps you can take to get help. Remember, you are never alone. You can find all that information on our website, wishtv.com.